Hi guys, it's Megan. So it's now the first day of school after Christmas break and somehow, don't know how it happened, my car just went straight to, hold on, let me turn it around, there we go, to Starbucks this morning. Um, and I'm sitting here in the quiet in my house, um, enjoying the quiet and I thought I would just do a quick video for you guys to kind of say, you know, Happy New Year, Happy Day, you know, first day kids are back at school. And oh my God, there is so much stuff that I have to do around here. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, I have two loads of laundry to fold. I have to find the living room and dining room floors again. Um, with my son coming back from his dad's yesterday, um, he actually still has some presents to open, um, because my bio dad actually was very kind and he brought Christmas presents for the kids. Um, he was supposed to bring them earlier on last week, but, um, he was sick. So he ended up bringing them on the weekend, but only my daughter was home. Oh my goodness. So... Anyway, my son opened one of the presents last night. He opened one this morning. I'm sure he'll open another one after school today. Apparently, he's a one at a time, you know, spacing them out kind of guy to open all the presents. But I would imagine everybody as well as me um, that are home today are going to be cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. Um, for, I mean, yeah, it's going to be kind of cleaning up after the kids have been home for two weeks, um, folding laundry, putting laundry away. Um, I want to get a really good grocery list going um, because although our fridge is full right now, I need to sort through and see what is no longer good in there and everything um, and you know see what we're missing. Oh, what else do I need to do today? I'm hoping to at least get the ornaments off the tree. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Um, and, you know, vacuum through the downstairs, put away laundry, you know, all that kind of really homemaker kind of stuff. Um, and just kind of take advantage of the quiet. <laughs> Um, so, but I also wanted to share with you, I actually, the last few nights haven't been sleeping very well, and it looks like on Facebook that I'm not the only one. Um, I seem to see a lot of news feeds, um, or statuses on my news feed saying that everybody's been having a really hard time sleeping, and when they are sleeping, they're having weird dreams, and I don't know, like mine, um, if you follow my Facebook page, you know that on... I think it was Saturday night no Friday night overnight I could not get to sleep until like four o'clock in the morning and I'm somebody that like within minutes of my head hitting the pillow I'm out so to be sitting there or lying there for two hours trying to get to sleep you know in bed I'm reading I'm watching YouTube I'm, I'm was trying so hard to get to sleep because my body was tired, but I just couldn't get to sleep. And then, you know, I came downstairs, watched a little bit of TV, started, like, dealing with garbages and recycling, which is also something else I have to do is take all that stuff out today. I was exhausted, but I could not get to sleep. Um, and it was weird because through all of this, I, f for some reason, kind of, three words popped into my head as almost like a motto, for lack of a better term, for this year. Um, and I, I don't know, does anyone else do this? I've never, it's never actually come into my mind before, but I like the idea actually of kind of having a motto for the year. Um, and the three words that really kept popping into my brain over this, you know, five hours that I couldn't get to sleep. And then once the three words solidified, I could get to sleep. So apparently this is what the universe was telling me, was what my mottos for 2016 are. And three very, very simple words. One is mindful, another one is purposeful, and another word is simplify. 
And I think those are three very fantastic words for me to kind of live by for this year. Um, I want to like, I even had them like pop into my head in kind of a decorative font or something. So I might put that up over my desk. I don't know. I've never done this before. Have you done this? <laughs> I, it just, uh, I don't know, and it kind of feels right that I need to do this. Um, I was originally, I've been watching a lot of stuff on YouTube, for example, about, um, oh, what's the word, minimalism um, recently, and it really resonates with me. Um, however, I think there's a step in between where we are now versus where I can possibly go with potentially minimalism. I don't think that we would be going like as drastic as some people um, have done on YouTube, but just to simplify things in our home, right? Like my kids are getting older now. They don't need as many toys because they're not doing as many toys. They're more, you know, iPads and books and, and some crafty stuff and, and stuff like this, but they're not they're beyond kind of the tiny little toys stage um, and you know I just I want to kind of simplify our home environment even more um, so that we don't get stuff like this post Christmas chaos like <laughs> I don't know is this normal in everybody else's homes like literally I can't see the floor in most of the parts so Anyway, I just wanted to kind of share some ramblings, obviously, and also my kind of three words that I think we're going to try to focus on and live by this year, being mindful, purposeful, and simplify. Let me know if you guys have, have you know, any kind of mottos or what your resolutions or goals or anything might be for this year. Um, I need to kind of think more about it and how that's going to present in our world um, and in our home especially. Um, but I'm really, I'm really liking those three words. <laughs> so there's my ramblings and now I'm going to finish my chai first and then I'm going to attack my home. So wish me luck. Talk to you guys later. Bye.